This is how you upload your own samples to the EP133 by Teenage Engineering. Step 1. Connect the device to your computer via USB-C. Step 2. Open the EP Sample Tool web app in your preferred browser. You can find the link in the description below. Step 3. Turn on the EP133 and then you will see the two connected. You will now be able to see all the sample banks and sounds on the device. Let's go through the layout of the app. On the right hand side of the screen, you can see the device's memory at the top, alongside the list of banks and samples. There is also the backup and restore button, which allows you to save your projects, upload your own, and restore the device back to factory sounds and projects. On the left hand side is an on screen version of the EP133. Here, you can see all of the information about the sample you're editing. You'll notice, as you play different sounds on the device, the app's UI will always display the last sound that was triggered. You can also trigger the sounds and navigate the groups using the app, which is useful for checking them. Now, let's give it a go putting in our own sounds. To keep organised, let's go to a user bank. From here, simply drag and drop your samples onto a row on the right-hand side of the screen. This will immediately upload the new samples to the EP. The EP sample tool also performs some high-resolution teenage engineering downsampling magic to reduce file size. You can also change the start and stop points of your samples. Simply click and drag the in-out markers to your desired points. To load one of your new shiny samples onto a keypad, either drag and drop a sample onto a pad using the EP sample tool, or hold the sound button and type in the sample number on the device. And that's it! Make sure to like and subscribe to keep up to date with our future Teenage Engineering videos.